Hey guys, Ron here. Nice to see everybody again. Uh, metaphorically speaking, that is. Today I'm showing you the house, I'm going to be in front of it in a minute, of Sir Anthony Hopkins, Tony Hopkins. Now, what's interesting also is the house is right there, and I was right here just two days ago hoping to see this open house, which wasn't open even though it was supposed to be. So I looked at the address and said, oh, that street sounds, so I know the name of the street. So I was here two days ago and had no idea that this was Tony Hopkins' house, Anthony Hopkins' house. Now, Anthony Hopkins, uh, oh, my dog's here exploring the trash. Anthony Hopkins actually just sold this house uh, about three months ago. So it's very recent. We can't see anything. Oh, here, we can see a little of the house here. Very recent, and he bought it about three years ago, almost three years ago. He also just sold his Malibu property. So we're seeing that uh, he buys and sells properties and doesn't stay more than a couple of years, um, typically. So I'm going to show it to you again on the way back. But it's hidden quite well, it looks like, behind all this, all these trees and fence, foliage, foliage. Let's see. I know it's hot and we're walking uphill. This is the house next door, so this is not it. So all we could see is what we were looking at. Let's go look again. Look at that. That's beautiful, huh? The hill there. So my story about it, Sir Anthony Hopkins, actually, who's won at least a couple of Academy Awards, is that he used to be a client of a company I used to work for. And well, we had a lot of high-end clients and celebrities, and they really preferred to have their anonymity when they were there. And he would be very nice. He'd call uh, a friend of mine who worked the switchboard, and he'd say, uh, Hello, Tom, it's Tony Hopkins. How are you? Very nice. He always said that he was very congenial. I didn't actually meet him there, but I always heard he was very nice and congenial. I like this green fence. There is a camera here, too. See, we're right there. Right up there. This little garage two-car garage, and well, I'm not sure. That might be the house next door, so all we're really sure of is this one here. And the back of the garage, you'll we'll be able to see a little bit here. Beautiful redwood house next door. Okay, here's a little of the house as we go down the hill. Here's a little bit. That's It's certainly not the ostentatious mansion you would expect, but then again, he also has a home in Malibu, which I believe is right on the sand. And I'll come back to the house again. Wow, somebody's really coughing there at that contemporary one across the street. We'll come back. So I think the first time that I really took note of uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins was, uh, and he's always great. I mean, you can tell a stage actor in a second versus somebody who just decided, you know, after high school or in college, I want to be an actor. I want to be an actress. It's fun. I'm cute. Um, and yes, I'm biased. I did a lot of theater myself starting when I was 14. So I studied my craft for, you know, the next 10 years after that, at least. Anyway, uh, but Hopkins, um, Anthony Hopkins, Sir Anthony Hopkins. I, so like I said, the first time I think I took note of him was... In late 70s, uh, a couple of movies, one was called Magic, one was called Audrey Rose, and of course he did the film version of, um, he, how can it escape me, he, uh, of uh, The Elephant Man, played the doctor, great role, and of course the great John Hurt played the Elephant Man in costume, obviously, in makeup. The dog is disappointed because this is not a street with grass. Like there's no sidewalks here. When you reach a certain level of wealth, you don't need sidewalks. Those are for peasants. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so, uh, and of course, I think even though Anthony Hopkins was in all these great films, or, you know, he had established himself in the 70s, oh, I'll be back with you in a second.